Hello and welcome to the 10th ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. In this video we're going to be talking about the beam tool. So if you're still in the 3D view that we were in before, you can just hit F2 and you're going to get back to your floor plan. That's where I am right now. And we're just going to select our beam tool over here on the left. So let's talk a little bit about these settings that you can change up here. The first way that you can draw a beam is just by doing two clicks. So let's say we do one over here and the second one straight to the right, I'm actually gonna hold down my shift key and then do the second click. And if by doing that you get this uh, information window that as a result of the last operation elements have been created and or changed their position on currently unseen stories, you can just click undo. You will have to change your uh, settings over here which are the vertical position and the height of your beam. I usually like to set my reference level to be the project zero uh, and if I change that you can see that the beam was on a different story because the top elevation to project zero is zero and the bottom of it is at minus 0 0.4 meters so that's why when we draw it tells us that's on, that it's being drawn on a different level so to change that I'm just gonna put the bottom at 2.8 I'm sorry, I'm going to put the top at 2.8 and the bottom at 2.6. And now when we draw, so we do two clicks, one over there, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and do the second click. We can see the beam in our 3D view. I'm going to select my marquee tool again. I'm going to do one click over here, one click over here, hit F5. And we can see the beam that we just drew, which is this one right over here. And I'm going to go back to my ground floor by pressing F2. I'm going to right click remove marquee. And I'm going to select my beam tool again. And I'm going to select the second geometry method, which is the chained one. As the name implies, this just means that you can do several clicks. And all your beams will be chained. So if we go back to our 3D view, I'm going to press F3 this time to go back to the same view that we were looking at before. We can see this other beam that we drew right now and it's obviously chained. I'm going to go back to my 2D view and this third geometry method is the rectangular one. So for this geometry method you have two options either by doing um, two opposite corners of the rectangle or by drawing one side and then the second side of the rectangle. So I'm just going to leave this first option on the floor so you can see it. We have one click, the second click, or you can select this other option which means that you do one side and then the second one. Obviously you can draw more precisely by doing let's say one click, inputting the distance which is let's say 2.8 and then the second distance 2 meters and this way you can draw more precisely by inputting the dimensions in your tracker. The fourth geometry method is the curved one and in this geometry method you have three options of inputting your beam which the first one is by uh, doing a center point and then the radius so if you do one click wherever you want you can Im input the radius let's say 2.4 and you can either draw a complete circle, obviously, or just do, let's say, another one at a radius of 1.4. And then you can input the angle or the chord or the arc length, whichever you want. So let's say we do an angle of minus 120 degrees, and that's what we have. The next option is to input the circumference of your circle. So you can do one click, the second click, and then you input your third distance between this point and the second point. So if you have that, then you can draw your arc. So with this you do three clicks, and that is how you can draw your curved beam. The third option that's selected is that you do one, two, three points, and then your curved beam will be tangential to all those three points. So let's say we do this, this, and this, 
and you have a beam that passes through all those three points or even these so that is basically all the drawing options or placement options that you can use to draw your beam so next I'm actually going to just select everything that I can see on the screen by doing one click here and one click here and I'm gonna deselect this slab and delete everything that we've drawn so far just so that we have a clean slate to talk about the next options okay so now I'm gonna draw another beam using this uh, simple geometry method with two points so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna do shift click over here I'm going to select it by pressing down shift and I'm going to select it and then instead of going through the settings over here I'm gonna open the settings dialog either you can do that either by clicking over here or pressing ctrl and T let's go through some of the settings that you can change over here so over here you can change the height of the beam itself and the position of the beam in regards to the home story so we can see that our beam is 20 centimeters high and uh, it is positioned at a height of 280 if you want to change those you can do that here the width of the beam is right over here which is now set at 30 centimeters and from over here you can also change the structure of your beam so you can either leave it as rectangular so you can input the width and the, the height and the width of your beam or you can set it as a complex profile in that case you can change the profile from this drop down menu here and you can select from the options that ARCHICAD comes with by default or you can make your own custom profile I've talked about that in one of my other videos and I'm gonna link that somewhere on the screen but for now I'm gonna leave it as a rectangular beam from over here you can select your beam to be either horizontal or inclined and if you select the inclined option you can input here the angle uh, and from over here you can change the offset of the reference axis basically so let's say that we want the reference of the axis offset to 0 0.3 I'm gonna hit OK and because the beam has a width of 60 centimeters when we put the offset of the axis at 0 0.3 we can see that the axis is actually right on the edge of the beam you can either you can even put this more offset so the beam is actually totally detached from the axis in some cases that might be useful but for now I'm just gonna leave it at 0 so that it goes right through the middle of the beam from here you can um, change the floor plan display so you can either have it be visible on all sto all relevant stories or all stories and pick some of these different options as well you can either have it be projected or projected with overhead or just cut out outlines or overhead you can change the cut lines but usually for beams you don't see the cut lines you only see the in a floor plan you only see the uncut lines you can see the cut lines in a section so let's actually draw a section and show you what I mean I'm gonna hit OK for now I'm gonna hit escape so I deselect my beam and I'm gonna draw a section go from over here going straight down and looking to the right I'm gonna select the section I'm gonna right click and click on open with current view settings and over here you can see the the cut view of the beam so if you select it and click Ctrl plus T, if you go over here, you can change this line to be of a different type. Right now, our beam has the building material of generic structural. If we want it to have a different fill, you can select, let's say, concrete block fill filler. And you click OK, and now you're going to have the pens from the concrete block filler ma building material. If you don't want to keep the colors from the material itself you can select the beam hit ctrl and t you can click here override cut fill pens and instead of leaving none you can say you want to override both and now you can change the color of your pens so let's say we want to do it orange and the background purple for some reason and now you can change the cut view of your beam
let's go back to our floor plan select our beam again hit ctrl and t to go back in the settings see what else we can change we can change the outlines you can change the symbols you can either have the axis to be shown or not and if you have it to be visible you can change the line type and the axis pen these are all things that if you just play with them a little bit you'll get really good at at controlling the appearance of your beam in your floor plan and your section over here under the model tab you can change the appearance of your beam in 3d you can do that if you press these little buttons here so that you can change the surfaces themselves you can click ok and let's go back to our 3d view so that we know see what we are talking about so i pressed on f3 or back in our 3d view i'm going to select the beam i'm going to go back into the settings you can either change one of these tabs so the left side surface in this case and this is in the back side right now or you can um, link them and then all of them will be the same color so because you link the surfaces you can see that they are they are all white in this case going back to our floor plan and selecting our beam we can see that some of the options that we talked about in the settings tab are over here uh, in this bar up top and you can scroll to it by hovering over this bar and scrolling with your mouse scroller up and down so you can change the structure from over here you can change some of the uh, floor plan displays cut surfaces uh, outlines and symbols from this tab here you can change the home story from here the height of your beam from over here the axis is right over here, the width of your beam is here, the horizontal, the angled option is over here. You can change the different surfaces from over here, you can link them or unlink them from here. So basically some of the settings that you can see in your settings dialog, you can just access them quickly from up top here. Okay, so that was basically an introduction for beginners to the beam tool in ARCHICAD. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!